All right, in this session, we're going to be core milling the outside profile of the part. Now to get started on that, what I want you to think about is that when we're doing an outside profile, uh, we're going to actually do a core mill. And what a core mill is, it allows the tool to come from the outside in uh, without having to do any ramping and coming into the part that way. It saves a lot of time and um, it's a very quick way. So what we do is we use a 2D high speed uh, toolpath basically to create this and we use a core mill basically that's the way we do it in master cam so let's go ahead and get started to do this by going to toolpath and go to 2d high speed click ok to save it that way and what we're going to do is we're going to switch to c plane and switch to the top view so you can create so you can uh, highlight those better what i'm going to do is i actually i want to get rid of my uh solid so i can see my lines a little bit better for the first plane let's click on the outside line Click OK, and then for the outer one, I want to click on the inside one, and then click on this one to to fix to basically finish highlighting the inside one. And this basically tells it that the plane is going to be, or the machining is going to be from the, all the that that you created from that outside box that we created to the inside geometry that we've created. Let's go to Core Mill, let's go to Tool, and let's select the three quarter inch flat end mill. So let's go ahead and click on 0.75. Okay, and there's my three quarter inch flat end mill. Click OK. Let's go to cut parameters. Now in this one, we've never used this before, but let's use it this time. We're going to use smoothing. What smoothing does is that it creates any sharp corners that it sees, it creates a little bit of, an, uh, of a curve basically to allow a smooth uh, basically path for the tool and it allows it to not basically leave you know so, so it will not leave a um, sharp corner basically wherever there is a sharp corner now in this one we don't have that so we don't have to worry about that but let's click on that and this way we understand what it does after we're done with that just go to link and parameters and make sure there's a two inch clearance so click on two inches and then go to depth and specify the stock depth which is three inches so go negative 3.0 Click OK and then click on the check mark. And there's my toolpath. What I'm going to do is click, put it on isometric. And I don't have my toolpath shown. If I want to have them show, hold Alt click on T. And there's my toolpath. So let's go ahead and verify that and make sure it's working correctly. I'm going to go to back plot. OK. Now let's go to verify selected operation. Click on tool and holder. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit and play it. It's going very, very slow for some reason. There we go. I just increased the speed and it's machining all the way around my part. And the reason it was going slow is because it was smoothing the area around my sharp corners. So around this sharp corner and that sharp corner, it went around really slow to create a very, very small radius. So we do not have a small corner. Click on OK and we are done creating the core outside the 2D high speed profile toolpath. 